I think once you venture into tie bars, tie pins, and lapel pins, my main piece of advice is proceed with caution. If you're going to wear a tie bar, keep it as classic as possible. These are just pure silver, clean and simple, and if you're going to go there, I would start here. There are as many tie pin variations as there are cufflinks. My favorite here is this vintage jade tie pin, just because it's more almost curiosity than just a jewel. Another way to go, something sort of geometric with a little bit of color that almost blends into the pattern of your tie is a great way to introduce that slight touch of something extra to your look. Nothing signals someone who's really well dressed and really put together like a beautiful pair of shirt studs. You want to think about shirt studs that have something unusual. Maybe they're not gold. These actually are mother of pearl and gold and these are really pale chalcedony with a, a small sapphire cabochon. If you're at a formal occasion but you're not in a tux, cufflinks are a really great way to just add that note of consideration. A really classic pair of black onyx with a tiny, tiny diamond also signals that this was a night you took a little bit of extra care and you put on the good